Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Digimon Hacker's Memory. It's been months, if not years, since I've done anything more than a six-episode recording session. My poor GoPro's memory card is almost full, but I don't care. I'm having so much fun with this game right now. Alright, so in the last episode, we cleaned up some yellow quests. We're still behind between really, really big issues uh, with the plot. And at the end of the episode, I asked for some help on mechanics. So again, same recording session. I haven't seen any comments if you left them. And it's, it's entirely possible that what I asked at the end of the last episode may not even uh, make it to me before I find the answer myself. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it'll still be good for me to know. So... Um, we finished Hammer and Curse, and that's over, so the next thing we need to do is Dr. Datamon's new challenge. I'm Togemon. I'm hot and woozy. I might be coming down with something. Somebody cure me. Oh, and I need to play Memories. That's what I should do. It's a case from a sick Digimon. I'll go and see what the situation is on under Kowloon level 4. Oh, good. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say good. I can check the Memories and before that, but I guess not. Over here, cough, cough. Oh, excuse me. Oh, he looks so sad. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, and thanks for taking my case. I've been really hot lately. I think I've caught some terrible disease. It must be a virus. You're a hacker. You must know about viruses from this world, right? If anyone can eliminate it from my body, you can. Please try. I can't take it anymore. Ah! So, is the virus gone? Huh, uh, uh You don't know which virus it is or how to treat it. Cough, cough. If I don't find a cure soon, I don't think I'll make it. Cough. Togemon is feeling under the weather. The sellers at the Digimarket are used to dealing with large numbers of Digimon. Maybe they know how to treat it, even though I've destroyed the Digimarket by now. I'll ask around, I guess. Yeah, how is this gonna work? Oh no, we're here at the Digimon, or the, the Digimarket, somehow. You want to cure a Digimon disease? Forget it. It's too much trouble. It would be just a waste of money. The best thing would be to lower their prices as much as possible and sell them off. Well, that's not very nice. A Digimon is sick. That happens from time to time. A little while back, my Digimon fell madly in love with a cute Digimon and became lovesick. Not that kind of sick. That's not what you mean? Okay, ask someone else. Great, thanks for not helping. Huh? A Digimon is sick. What are the symptoms? Blah, 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 blah. I see. What a terrible disease. It was a while back, but there was an outbreak at the Digimarket once. It was awful. So many Digimon would have died if it weren't for Dr. Datamon. Dr. Datamon is an amazing doctor who specializes in making medicines for Digimon. Thanks to Dr. Datamon's new medicine, the disease at the Digimarket was contained fairly quickly. Blah, 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 blah. You want Dr. Datamon to make a new medicine. Then you need to go and see it. It should be at this URL, collecting medicinal ingredients. Well, I have played a lot of Potion Permit late, re recently, so I will know how to do this. Please give my regards to Dr. Datamon. Maybe Dr. Datamon can make a medicine to cure Togemon. I'll go and see it. Okay. Um... Come to think of it, wasn't there a shop in one of those forums? Before I just run off, let me check Demon's Den and Zaxxon, because I swear one of them had a shop. Maybe. Maybe I'm losing my mind. It's entirely possible. I'm just still looking for Digifood. Again, I mean, you know, you all understand, like... So, I I've had some viewers who get frustrated that they're like, I keep telling you the answer, and it's like, I record in batches, and then they come out two weeks later... So, sometimes, even if you've answered my question, I don't see it for a while. Patience, please. Um, but yeah, if you know where the digi food is, if it's even a thing I can buy, let me know. Alright, no information there, but we can get to... There we go. Dr. Datamon's foraging area, apparently. This place looks familiar. Dr. Datamon has to be here somewhere. I need to see it and ask for help. Okay, is this a new place for us? 
Any treasures? This looks really familiar. I don't remember if I've been here yet, though. But I'm gonna jump around, because I don't think there's gonna be anything too strange here until I find the creature. I have definitely been here before, but I don't remember the context. <laughs> Dude, he- oh god, I just saw his eyeball. The- if you take away the eyeball, it looks like something that would come out of like a 60s movie and their idea of what sci-fi was. Ah, uh, who are you? I'm Datamon, but people usually call me Dr. Datamon. I'm busy collecting medicinal ingredients right now. If you want to ask me something, please make it quick. Blah, 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 blah. What? Another Digimon has contracted the disease. Then I'll administer the new medis medicine I developed, although unfortunate, this is a good opportunity. The other day I successfully increased the strength of this medicine, but I didn't have any subjects to test it on. This is a chance to test its efficacy. I'll administer it in person, no payment necessary. Take me to the patient. Okay. Oh good, and I get a teleport. Ah, oh, you're back, cough cough. It hurts. This isn't good. If I don't administer the medicine soon, it might be too late. Togemon, take this. Open wide and swallow. Not mature enough to handle that sentence. That will do. How do you feel? I feel a little better. Huh? What's going on? I feel dizzy and hot. Oh, something doesn't feel right. Ah! Ah! The patient's gone into a frenzy. Kick his ass. Lots of screaming. You have to do something. Uh huh. The only thing I know how. Punch the sick creature. All right. Um, you are data, so viruses are for the best. How much damage? Ooh, he's actually got some strength. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna bring in uh, Ra Wraith and Pickles, and then this is gonna be over real quick, real quick. Wow, impressive. Yeah, please allow me to retort with this. That's what I thought. So cool. That one frame where he's full frame and full colored might be the thumbnail for this one. Ugh! The patient seems to have stopped now. Good job. Uh, I was worried for a moment there. But the patient's just lying there. What shall we do? No, don't hit him. Take care of him. The fuck's wrong with you, Pafalcon? Uh, it's you. What happened? Blah, 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 blah. I remember. I went crazy after taking the medicine. Sorry about that. Thanks for stopping me. Uh-huh! How do you feel now, Togemon? It looks like you experienced one of the medicine side effects. <laughs> Going batshit. Yeah, but my cough's gone and I feel much better. I'm still full of energy from that battle. I need to release it! Whoa! I know that's what they evolved to, but, like, it's so different and unexpected. That felt great, huh? My body, it's different. Have I digivolved from Togemon to Lilymon? Uh-huh. Eh, it seems my new medicine is also the side effect of causing digievolution. Remarkable. I need to adjust the formula to eliminate the frenzy side effect, but I'm sure this medicine will help lots of Digimon in the future. Now that our patient is cured, I'll take my leave goodbye. Alright, bye. Thank you, Dr. Datamon. And thank you, too. I don't know what I would have done without you. To repay you for everything, you can call on me anytime you need my help. I'll be there. What does that mean? I promise. D huh. Alright. Oh, maybe I can take her with, uh, like if I do a domination battle or something. Okay, farm training two is done. I'm not gonna cash in this quest, 
because that'll probably trigger the next cutscene. We need to head back to the Digilab and check in on our girl and see where she's at. Okay, she lost six cam. She gained two points of defense? Oh, maybe... She gained 12 points of defense. Maybe what happened is that because I gave the order for her to, or I, I never gave, so I added her to the farm while there was a training session going on. So maybe it was going off of the objects I had set up prior to changing them out. But since she's got 42 now of bonus items, I need to start reducing those immediately. So we're gonna... We're gonna move her into the active team. And I need to go buy some restraint chips. So for our first experiment, I need to see how much the, the restraint chips reduce. First of all, I also want to say another shout out of good character... Um, good game design. When I put her in the farm, she unequipped all her gear and it got added to my inventory automatically. That's also chef's kiss of a mechanic. Um, that way you don't leave your good equipment on someone who isn't even on the team. The downside is you have to re-equip them once you re-add them, but who gives a shit? I think that's a better alternative anyway. Alright, so we have, for example, let's check our restraint chips. I do have a defense B. So, the question is, how much does that re lower? Or a, a, an HPC. Don't you have an HP gain? What's your deal? No. Attack, defense, and intelligence. Okay. So, let's take the defense. And we'll just burn that on you immediately. Defense value went down. Now, by how much? You had 12. You're down to 2. So, B's lower it by 10. So I need two intelligent chips B and one C, probably, for defense. So, ah, oh God, where do I go for those? Oh, there's too many shops. Uh, I think I have to go to the Broadway. No, I had to go to the Eden Entrance Shop. Okay, so we need one defense. Now, I... They only sell the C's, so I don't know how much- I assume five, probably, is what the C's lower it by. So let's buy four C's. These are super cheap, too. Which is helpful. Okay, so... Let's see if my guess is right. So her intelligence boost is currently... 20. So let's use one... Intelligence chip and see if it lowers it to 15. No, it only lowered it by one. Okay. Now, does that... Is there a chance it might lower it by more? So there's the defense. Or are you down to one? Yeah, you're down to plus one. So I'm gonna need more. I will need a total of 19 of those intelligence chips. I apparently have three, so we'll buy 16. Still cheap. 1,600 yen is nothing. Um... And I've got six figures now, thanks to a bunch of vendor trash I finally sold. So, we'll just spam this. And after a bunch of rapid clicking, we have removed all of Oracle's um, adjusted enhanced stats. Enhanced stats, I guess is what they call them. So, now she only has the plus ten in attack and nothing else. So we're going to put her back in the farm and then see what happens. I hope this training doesn't take too long. I think that, wait, isn't the training times flat? Like if you put him on the tough course, it's always a half hour. All right, she's ready to go here. Yes, it's always 30 minutes. Ability up is tripled, whatever that means. She's got these two items. So we're hoping she gets more than just 10 points out of this. Her cam is currently 94. I'm going to write this down. So, current cam... Well, pre-training cam is 94. 
pre-training ATK bonus is 10. So I just want to see how much a single training... Oh, and pre-training level is... 37. Let's see how much he gains out of just one training session. So... See, this animation must be nothing. Because she's using these items and these machines, and I haven't even given her a command yet. So I assume she's not even doing anything or accomplishing anything right now. This is just all a dog and pony show. So we're going to command her to do the tough course. So in 30 minutes, we can check out what's going on there. I mean, I'll still probably be recording this episode, or maybe I won't be. Anyway. Okay. With Oracle sorted at the moment, we're going to head back to Ikebukuro. And then I'm going to act finally show those memories I've been collecting. Just how many memories has it been? Kind of all over the place here. Um... Well, let's go through it. Ryuji memory number one. Record of the conversation between Ryuji and Kishibi. This might be hel interesting for the sake of the main story. Ryuji Mishima, isn't it? Aren't you a tall drink of water? I just love muscular guys. Oh, if, if I had known she would have used the phrase tall drink of water, I would have given her my Southern Belle voice that I've been developing. Aren't you a tall drink of water? I just love muscular guys. Ugh. Ah, I'm just having a bit of fun. Or would you rather get straight down to business? You're here about your little sister, aren't you? I guess you've already looked into me. Then I don't need to explain the details. Can you take over my sister's treatment? It's an incurable disease, isn't it? Wow, scary stuff. I know your company conducted research into the digitization of human memories while developing the Eden system. You also have research suggesting it could be used to treat diseases of the brain. Wow, someone's done their homework, but I'm sure we keep that information top secret. Is that line of research being pursued? Some members of the technology team have raised the possibility that by adjusting memories, or strictly speaking, the parts of the brain that are overloaded, it might be possible to treat that any brain disease. So do you want to try it on your sister? Even if it doesn't cure her, it might buy her more time. But that theory is still on the research stage. It's never been tried on humans. Are you sure you want to test it out on your beloved sister? Ugh. I understand how you feel wanting to save the life of your only living relative. Oh, you'd be lonely without her. You're doing it for yourself, aren't you? Huh? I'm just kidding. Looks like I took it too far. No. I mean, she was right. Because the whole fact that Ryuji did this and probably didn't tell Erika all of the downsides... Ryuji's doing this for himself. more than, As much as for Erika. Like, he's probably got good intentions, but he didn't even tell her that this was happening. Whenever I see someone like you, I can't help but tease them. Okay, I'll take over your sister's treatment. Duh. But it'll cost a lot of money and resources. How will you pay for it? I'll do anything. You clearly have the skill to access Kamashiro's top secret data. That could be useful. Work for Kamashiro. No, for me. Ugh. Yep. File 12, Jude Memory. Record of past Jude activities. Data is old and partially corrupted. Let's we'll see what we can do with it. Looks like some kind of recording. Some of the footage is missing. Jatosi, did you track him down? No, he got away again. Even though I ran eight tracking programs. Damn it. Don't give up. We just have to find another way. It makes me so mad. We spent a year of our course developing that defense protocol, and he broke through it like it was nothing. I'll catch him and teach him to mess with us. He's just better than us. Be quiet. Erica? Why have you dropped out of the course? Mom and Dad are worried. Tell them I'll be back in a few days. Tell them yourself. You're always like this when you get wrapped up in hacking. But you never teach me. I'll think about it once you improve. I'll hold you to that. 
Was that Erica? I haven't seen her for a while. How is she? Cheerful and annoying as always. All right. I've found his terminal information. Salvage his personal details, Chitose. Okay, I wonder what he's like. An elite data analyst for a multinational company? Or a CIA super hacker? Huh? He's just a kid. A kid? He's still in school. His name's Arata Sonata. Arata Sonata. Ha, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't believe we've been shown up by some kid. What should we do? Send him a virus to get our own back? No. Contact him. I want to meet him in person. Okay, so that's how they met. Sleuth memory. Record to hand down a certain event to posterity. So, probably from the cyber sleuth thing. It's an account meant to record a certain event for posterity. On the day it happened, I headed to the agency as usual. Here I shall refer to the proprietress simply as Q. Oh god, use another initial, please. Q asked me to be her assistant, so that's probably Kyoko. And I just had been to a certain cafe to buy her the usual. When I got back, Q gleefully took it from me and promptly disappeared into the lab, or at least that's what I call it. So either Kyoko or Mire, probably. That is when I started to imagine the horrors that were about to take place there. Q has a bad habit. Q was attempting to transform the pleasant aromatic substance I had just bought into a terrifying beverage of mass destruction. Kyoko, got it. As my curiosity got the better of me, I decided to peek into the lab. The lab is strictly off limits, but it may have cost me my life if I did not find out exactly what was going on. I had no choice. I opened the door a couple of inches and saw Q rushing back and forth. What I saw made me gasp. There was a gigantic tuna hanging from the ceiling by a rope, and Q was holding a sharp knife ready to cut it to pieces. Baffled at what I was witnessing, I overheard the Q gleefully talking to herself. My assistant's been working so hard lately, I need to make him an extra nutritious cup of coffee. They say the tuna's rich in vitamins B5 and B6, and I heard the eyeballs are great brain food. They definitely have to go in. Maybe I shouldn't play Cyber Sleuth anymore. Oh, but they're too big for a coffee cup. I'll just have to put them in the blender. It also needs lots of bananas and other fruits to provide glucose. And I'll add some tapioca for texture. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be something. With a big smile on her face, she put all the chopped ingredients into the blender and pressed the button. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The ingredients were ground up into an amorphous goo that came off a foul stench. Q was grinning all the while as the ooze splattered the kitchen. I fell to my knees, shaking at the prospect of the terrible experience I would soon be subjected to. After all, the beverage of mass destruction that Q was in the process of concocting could not be meant for anyone else. I was sure to be its intended target. I'm using the, my last moments to write this account. I hear Q calling me. My time has come. By the time you read this, I may be no more. I will have drank eyeballs. I just want someone, anyone, to read this one day. And I hope that whoever does will do everything in their power to ensure that the same fate does not befall any more poor unfortunate souls. I hope that this record does not end up lost in a mountain of data. That is my final wish. The record ends here. Thank God. Uh, okay, and then the other one we've got is Happy Hacker Memory number six. Happy Hacker's Record. Here I write about hacker terminology. Malware. Short for malicious software, it includes computer viruses and worms. Such programs are generally used to destroy or steal data. Eden hackers do this by modifying digital monsters. There is a wide variety of different types, including many that erase parts of avatars in order to reduce capacity. What? Okay, great. Thanks for the history lesson. Uh, farm one is done. Wait, what? Which of the farm goods increase precision for investigate? Dousing machine, I hope? All right. 
All right, I'm gonna go deal with farm one and then cash in this quest. Got it. Got a medical spray out of that too. Mm hmm. K's stance, his pose, even reminds me of Arata. But it can also remind me of you when you're feeling, like, depressed. I still suspect the two of them. If I was a betting man, I'd put the money on Arata. But if it's not him, it's gonna be you. Yo, it's me. Looks like we both managed to stay out of that whole under zero mess. Guess I knew what I was doing when I picked my business partner. Yeah, I heard you beat Akira Osaka. Congratulations. Guess that means you got your revenge. In payment for the info I passed on, I want some of your time. If you still don't trust me, I don't mind if you don't come. But don't you at least want to know what happened to your account? You didn't find it at Hosaka's place, right? Yeah. I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, you suck and I hate you. Can't wait to get information out of you. Where are we going? You really are a fool. That doesn't mean she's K, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. She's just tracking Pafalcon. It's an email from K. He's chosen to meet at the Demon's Den. I'll get ready and go. Um, okay. Before I do that, I just remembered one more thing I wanted to do. I'm gonna go through the green missions and make sure that none of them are giving me power... Um... What is it? Power... Power Pines? No, the rewards for the green missions are not power pines. Okay, so I don't care. All right, let's do this. Wait, where are we going? Hackers? Demons? Zaxxon? Demons. I think he said demons. Yes. Gotta be a Rada. You isn't that cool. Thanks for coming. Let me introduce you. These are members of the original demons. They're top hackers. They're top-notch hackers who survived the Zaxxon-led roundup of demon remnants, and they managed to stay out of that under-zero business, too. We're relaunching the demons. We're calling ourselves the new demons. Ah! The demons were broken up thanks to a foolish leader and the brutality of the Zaxxons, who acted like the Guardians of Eden. But it's still too early for us to bow down. They aren't the true leaders of Eden. It's time for me, Kay, to lead the way to a real paradise. Our time has finally arrived. It's time for us, the downtrodden, to bring about a whole new order. Well, this is what I wanted you to witness. The birth of a true legend. A poser like Jim Ken is no legend. Oh no, I like Jimmy Cad. Let's finish our last conversation. I asked you who you were. You got an answer yet? Huh? Why are you Pafalcon Amasawa's account? Why are you after Pafalcon Amasawa's account? I've been trying to figure that out the whole time I've been helping you out. The reason is... What? 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 Because I'm Pafalcon Amasawa. Duh! So who are you anyway? Why are you using my name? I'm Pafalcon. Why do you keep saying that? What? My body is in hoodie. If your memory was altered when you logged into Eden, you can't trust your memory about your body either. It could be that you're not who you think you are, and you just don't know it. What? Holy shit! 
Ah, looks like you're not so sure anymore. That's a good start. This is my own special electromagnetic cage. It traps your mental data and prevents you from logging out. Until you confess who you are and why you're using the name Amasawa, you're not going anywhere. I can't have any other me running around. Don't bother struggling. All communication is blocked. I can keep you here your whole life, and in the real world, they'll just treat you as a victim of Eden Syndrome. If you actually have a body, that is. What the fuck is going on? Kay, wait! Kay, who are you referring to? I am Pafalkin Amasawa. That's who I... What? Could it be I'm really not me? Is that even possible? No, wait. K probably stole my account, and now he's fucking with me. That's what's going on. That... That... That may have been my avatar, but it, it, part of my account, which I still haven't found, but I'm still me because I'm running around hoodie. I'm not having an existential crisis. You're having an existential crisis. Are you, oh, God. Why does my savior have to be Wormmon? Are you okay? Do I look okay, you goddamn piece of shit? Blah, 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 blah. What am I doing here? Erica told me to rescue you if you got in trouble. I've been practically stuck on your back the whole time. I'm awesome, right? No. Uh, well, now we're both screwed. Blah, 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 blah. Huh? Die, you're right. I can't get out either. What do we do now? Help, Erica, help. I hate it. Ugh. Wow, you are such a pain in the butt. Duh! Hi, Erica, I love you! Huh? I can transmit from even from a cage? Am I hallucinating? Of course not. Digimon don't hallucinate, silly. Did you forget about our special link? That's right, we're connected through your memory server. Exactly. It looks like Kay's fancy cage isn't set up to block my memory server. Yes! Ugh. <sighs> Huh? You're still acting on your own. Duh! All I did was send Wormmon after you. Where would you be if I hadn't? What? No apology? D I'm. Please help me, Erica! You're the best! Good boy. Ugh. Hold on. I'm not going. I'm going to analyze that cage, but it might take a while. Huh? Kay created the cage by rewriting the Eden map. It's hard to believe a single hacker did all that on his own. Remotely controlling Digimon is one thing, but this guy is a legend class hacker. How come I've never heard his name before? Hmm. What? Is what Kay said still bothering you? You said it yourself. He was just trying to confuse you. If you're still not convinced, here, let me show you the proof. Huh? Wormamon, do it. Okay! These are the memories of Erica and Eden. She pl Oh, that makes sense. So she can prove that I am me because she knows what I look like. Because if I was someone else, then I would be. I would have a different appearance. So Kay is not actually me. Kay did successfully confuse me. It's Arata. <laughs> you isn't that good. Those are the memories of Erica and Eden. She pulled them off the server with me as a relay. It's a special trick only we can do. Like it? Even if you don't trust your own memory, seeing yourself in other people's memories must make you feel better, right? Yeah, it makes sense. But I understand about not trusting your memory. Most of my memory has been digitized too. It's like Kishibe said, I don't know if I live in Eden or the real world. Sometimes it really scares me. But you're not like me. 
Your body and your mind are still together, right? You can feel it even when you're in Eden. Your body, it's still a hoodie. You're sitting in that chair. Ah! Well, feeling a little more confident. Uh-huh! It's finished. Huh? Damn, you're good, Erica. Duh! There you go, Erica! You hacked in while we were talking! But of course. My processing speed isn't like normal people. My brain is... Well, it's eaten itself. Duh! Duh! You! How the hell did you break out of the cage? If I let you get away, Kay's gonna wipe my account. Ah, oh, we've been spotted! If he gets a hold of Kay, we're in trouble. Uh... Attack? Alright, guess we're going long, because I don't want to stop before I can save. No, this actually might take a while. Never mind. I'll go ahead and stop here. Okay. Okay. Giving me existential crises and making me doubt my own brain. I can't wait to kick him in the teeth. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Not done with my recording session yet. Man, doing eight episodes or more in one night? That's some, like, 2015 Pyro Falcon shit.